Okay, so with the hub back on, you can see that there is uh, an access hole here for adjusting the brakes. And if you look inside, I'll try again to get this illuminate. Ah, you can see the adjuster slot there. So what we need to do, get the old screwdriver in, turn it around clockwise until it locks tight onto the drum. And of course, that's so tight. And we need to do the other side. And again, two cylinders, two adjusters. So that's the other adjuster. Get in there. Turn that good and tight. One click, and then that should be just slightly draggy, but not binding. So, what you'd normally do is uh, get your foot on the brake pedal, work the brakes a bit, and then maybe redo this process to make sure that everything's settled out nicely when you're adjusting it. Okay, so short video showing you how the adjusters work on the front brakes of a Morris Minor. So this part here has a cam inside it and as you turn the cam that pushes the shoe further out or lets it back in. So as you turn it like this, the shoe is getting pushed further towards the drum. And as you turn it back, it then comes further away from the drum. So when you're working on the inside of the, the hub, you need to wind these back down to get the drum on and off. And uh, when you adjust them, you turn this round so it's tight up against the drum. And then you click it back one. Now the Morris Minor has two adjusters on it. It has two cylinders. So there's one just here as well. So you have to do both of them. The rear ones only have a single one. Okay, so uh, today we're on the Morris Minor again and we're just pulling the rear drum brakes apart. So we've got a couple of crosshead screws holding the drum into there. Uh, we need to make sure that the brake adjusters are turned anti-clockwise in order to be able to take the drum off easily. That turn it's through there. So I can get an angle onto there. Actually just through that hole that you probably can't see. So we've got a uh, rear brake cylinder here, a couple of shoes, uh, it's just a pivot point, and there's the adjuster here, that you can now see, just here, screw thread, which uh, turns the snail cam, and then there's some beehive 
springs here that hold the shoes onto the back plate. Now I've got a little tool that I made up to take them off which I'm just going to go and fetch. So the tool that I made is just a screwdriver, the end cut off and a little slot put into it and that enables you to push onto the beehive clip and hopefully take them off because they can be a bit of a pain to get on and off. Do this one. If I can get that off. Okay. That's now off. Pop that in the pot. Take this one off. Getting them on is a usually a bit more fiddly. For these I found that they're actually impossible to put on because uh, this part going down here was too long and I had to take a millimetre off that in order for it to actually be able to reach into the bit that it needs to reach into so I need to pop the shoes off these are actually brand new shoes so we're going to release the tension on the springs like putting these shoes like this, take them off the cylinder and I pop the adjusters off the shoes. These are the adjusters here which hopefully you can see because I can't see what the screen showing and then you should be able to just pop so on this car you have uh, the springs go behind the one with the plain part here goes the cylinder end and for these springs it goes on the inner of the two and when you put them on make sure that you have this slot here so that the camera arrangements and sit in there like that and stop that sliding around So this is the fun bit, trying to put it all back together and not making a complete idiot of myself. So I'm going to put those together like that and put that one on there and get this one fitted up over here. spring onto the other side which of course is tricky because it's behind so I'm going to put that on Down. So that's 
and then falling out the top one which is kind of half the course really so let's try that again that in get some tension on the spring it doesn't tend to fall out so much Let's just make sure that's back in I've now got the spring top and bottom there top and bottom there I haven't got the adjuster in yet and I haven't got the beehive springs that go in there and there which is what put this head torch on so that I could see hopefully whether these springs are going in or not so see if I can get these in Together, apart from the drum, so the spring is in there. 
and it's just a case of popping the drum back on so to make sure you line these holes with these holes screws back in. They've got a bit of copperies on them to make sure they don't seize in there and they'll go rusty. So it's easier for the next time or the next person. Brand new drum on there. Brand new Beehive springs, new cylinder, new shoes, and the last thing to do is pop that adjuster back up. So wind it all the way clockwise until it's tight. Okay, the drums have got to settle out a bit. Shoes, I mean. Very easily. <sighs> Not very easily. And then when it's in that state, you drop it back one click. So that's that adjusted. <sighs> 